In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate these five integrals that came out in the MIT Integration B qualifying exam in January 2020. Let's get started. Let's evaluate this integral. So the trick here is to use like product rule for radicals and writing the radical in rational exponents. So if we're going to do that, like the product rule on radicals and writing the radical expression in rational exponents, then the power of this x will be raised to one half because that is just the square root of x. Okay, now this one here, it will be a square root of square root of x. So that is fourth root of x. So in radical, in rational exponents, so this becomes uh, x raised to one fourth. And uh, this one here, it will be square root of the square root of the square root of x. So that is uh, eighth root of x and that will be equal to x raised to one over eight and so on. Okay, so you only have here a product. And as you can see, okay, so applying rule on exponents, so same base, just add the powers. You have here one half plus one fourth and then plus one over eight plus and so on. This sum here is just a geometric series where the first term is equal to one half and the common ratio is equal to one half. And since the absolute value of the common ratio is less than one, then that geometric series is convergent. So we can find its sum. So the sum will be equal to the first term over one minus the common ratio, which is equal to one half. So this is just one half over one half, which is equal to one. So actually this is equal to x. So therefore our integral is just integral of x dx which is equal to x squared over 2 and then plus c. Now let's evaluate this uh, integral here. This is not hard to evaluate if you know your trigonometric uh, identities. Okay, first uh, thing we take the product of this and this is sum and difference. So the product is equal to cosine squared x minus uh, sine squared x. And then uh, this one here, if we're going to recall the uh, double angle identity, for sine, so we have here a sine of a 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So therefore, this is just equal to uh, 1 half of uh, sine uh, 2x and then raised to 4. Okay, so just uh, factor out the power 4. And then we can actually write this one here also using uh, a double angle identity for cosine. So you have your cosine 2x is actually cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So this is just equal to cosine of uh, 2x. And uh, this one here is just equal to 1 over 16 sine of uh, 2x raised to 4. Therefore, we can write our integral into this form, integral of 1 over 16 sine 2x raised to 4 and then cosine of uh, 2x dx. And it is clear from this one that we can already solve this by u substitution. So if we let this to be our u, okay, then our du is equal to what? du is equal to cosine 2x times 2 and then dx. So therefore, this is just equal to du over 2. Okay, so divide both sides by 2 here. So now, we can easily evaluate this one. So we have here integral, if we change it to u, is equal to 1 over 32, u raised to 4 du. So this is uh, equal to 1 over 32, and then times uh, u raised to 5 over 5, just apply power rule, and then plus c, which is equal to 1 over 32 times 5 is 160, and then our u is sine 2x, so sine raised to 5 of 2x plus c. Next problem. So let's evaluate this integral here. If the integrand is just an ln function, most of the time we integrate it using integration by parts. So if we're going to uh, apply integration by parts here, so let me apply integration by parts by tabular method. So we have here differentiate integrate. So my u will be ln of uh, x squared plus one. And then my uh, dv here is just dx. So here, I'm going to integrate 1. So differentiate this, I'll get 1 over x squared plus 1 and then times uh, 2x. And then integrate 1, will get uh, x. So by integration by parts, 
we can uh, write this down as uh, this uh, product here, which is uh, equal to x uh, ln of uh, x squared plus 1 minus the integral of this product. So the integral of uh, that product, which is equal to uh, 2x squared over x squared plus 1 dx. Now, how do we evaluate this uh, integral here? We can easily evaluate this if we do long division first, or you can also do the following algebraic manipulation. So we're going to write the numerator in the form, let's say, 2 times the denominator. You have here x squared plus 1. But of course, we don't want to change the radicand in this case, since the radicand is just 2x squared. This will give you the plus 2, so we need to subtract 2 here. Okay, to get the same radicand. So now we can already write the radicand as uh, in this case you have here minus integral of, you have 2, and then minus uh, 2 over x squared plus 1 dx. So we can already evaluate that integral. So we have here x ln of x squared plus 1. And then we have here minus uh, 2x, and then minus minus becomes plus, plus 2, integral of 1 over x squared plus 1, dx is just tangent inverse, tangent inverse of x, and then plus c. Let us now evaluate this integral here. So integral from 0 to 2 pi cosine raised to 2020x uh, dx. We can easily evaluate this one using the reduction formula for integral of uh, cosine raised to n of x dx which is uh, equal to 1 over n, cosine raised to n minus 1, x, and then times sine x, plus n minus 1 over n, integral of uh, cosine raised to n minus 2 of x dx. And you can easily derive this uh, reduction formula by using integration by parts. Okay, so you let u to be equal to cosine raised to n minus 1, x, and then your dv in this case is just uh, cosine x uh, dx. So if we apply that reduction formula, we'll get here 1 over 2020. And then this is uh, cosine raised to 2019x and then sine of uh, x. And then we have here 2019 over 2020. So this is plus and then integral of cosine raised to 2018x uh, dx. But since this is a definite integral, so we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 2 pi and then 0 to 2 pi. And the good thing about this integral, this term here, because it has a cosine, uh, it has a sine, then the value of this is just equal to 0, at 2 pi and then at 0. Therefore, this is just equal to 2019 over 2020 of the integral from 0 to 2 pi cosine raised to 2018x dx. So now you already see a pattern in evaluating this integral. So this integral is just equal to this. So you subtract 1 from the power, and then the denominator is just that power, and then you subtract 2 from that power to get the new integrand. So you have here cosine raised to 2018x dx. So by applying this pattern, we'll get here, Okay, so we subtract 1 from the power, so this becomes uh, 2017 over the same power, 2018, and then times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of subtract 2 from the power. So you have here 2016x dx. And then again, we do the exact same thing for this. We subtract 1 from the power, so we have here 2015 over same power, and then integral from 0 to 2 pi of what? Cosine raised to subtract 2 from the power, 2014x dx. So we continue this until we get an integrand, which is cosine raised to 0 of uh, x dx. And cosine raised to 0 of x dx here is just uh, equal to 1. And what is the coefficient of this? So you add 1 to 0, and then the denominator is just 1 more than the numerator. So that is 1 half. And now, this is just equal to 2 pi. Okay, So that is just uh, x evaluated from 0 to 2 pi, which is equal to 2 pi. So therefore, what is our answer here? So this is just equal to 2019 times 2017 times and so on times 1 over, you have here 2020 
times uh, 2018 times uh, and so on times 2 and then times uh, 2 pi. Now, one way to write uh, these uh, products here in the numerator and denominator is using uh, double factorial. So you can write the numerator as uh, 2019, 2019 double factorial. And then over the denominator, you can write it as 2020 double factorial. And then times uh, 2 pi. Now, this double factorial notation here is similar to the factorial notation. But in this case, all the factors are of the same kind as this number. And what I meant is that uh, all the factors here are add integers. So in this case, we skip the even factors like the 2018, 2016, and so on. So uh, this one too, then that means all the factors are even integers, even positive integers. So you'll have here 2018 and so on. So we skip all the add factors. Now let us evaluate this uh, integral. So this integral can be easily evaluated by u substitution. If you let u to be your denominator, 2x squared plus uh, 2x plus 1, your du is just equal to 4x plus 2 times uh, dx, which is actually 2 times uh, 2x plus 1 uh, dx. So therefore, this is just equal to 1 half times integral of du over u, which is equal to 1 half ln of absolute value of u plus c, which is equal to 1 half ln of absolute value of 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus C.